In this video, we're going to see the, a subtle difference when uh, installing or configuring a doc shell uh, application or shell extension for Visual Studio 2010. Most of the videos that we have demonstrated so far are based on uh, Visual Studio 2012 RC. Changes uh, from Visual Studio 2010 or Light Switch version 1 to Light Switch version 2 um, there is a subtle um, sort of uh, not so obvious thing or step that has to be um, uh, accomplished if you're using Visual Studio 2010. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to create a, a new light switch application. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll come back, pause the video and come back and uh, um, then we'll uh, pick up where the, the subtle changes are. So um, I'm going to create, just so you know, a Visual Basic light switch um, because uh, most of our uh, videos so far have been based on a um, uh, C sharp, so VB uh, Northwind, let's call it. All right, I'll be back shortly. Okay, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I've created uh, a data source, uh, Northwind data source, and added one uh, screen. So uh, next thing we need to do is uh, go in and uh, uh, set the extension to be the uh, doc shell uh, extension. So we click on here and look up in this list here. Pick that. And there will be a slight pause as uh, what's happening here is it's actually copying in all of the assemblies and positioning them within your uh, light switch application. So all underlying uh, and necessary assemblies for this particular extension are being copied into um, your ex current light switch application. Great, and then once we've done that, we simply change the shell, hit save. All right, so pretty much standard stuff so far if you've watched any of the uh, other videos, um, but here's the big difference with uh, Visual Studio 2010. Uh, you switch over to file view mode and as you did previously, uh, in this case it's uh, Visual Basic, so we're going to add our references this way. Um, and so what we need to do is just add, uh, say, Recent, and I'm going to use the Telerec um, controls. And push that one in. And then, of course, the Telerec uh, provider assembly. Again, for more information on um, that particular um, project, uh, please watch the uh, introductory video and the configuring uh, doc shell video. Okay, so with uh, <coughs> the uh, uh, Telerec uh, assemblies, or the third-party control assemblies and the provider assembly referenced in your application, um, Normally, in a Visual Studio 2012 RC edition, uh, you're ready to go. After you compile, you can start adding your model. Um, in this particular application uh, or scenario, since it's Visual Studio 2010, regardless if it's a Visual Basic or a C-sharp uh, based light switch application, you do um, uh, need to follow the, the, the next step. And so what we need to do is uh, flip this uh, to show all, and then go to logical view, and then back to file view. And if you don't see what I was hoping to see, which I don't here, uh, hit this again. And what you want to see is this client generated uh, project. Once you have that, you follow the exact same steps by uh, adding the references that we just added to the client project to this client generated project. So uh, in this case here, We'll just go to the recent, and we can just simply pick the same ones we just added to the other project. <coughs> okay, great. And then we can uh, save that, close that down. <coughs> and then what we want to do is just give the, uh, the overall solution a quick build. Okay, and once that's uh, successfully built, at this point now you can add your uh, doc shell model. So um, typically, like what we like to do is add a new solution folder and just to keep things organized. And then inside that solution folder, we add another folder, calling it model. 
you don't have to order it this way or organize it this way. It's just uh, um, the way we do it. And then add new item. And once that comes up, you simply scroll down and you look for light switch navigation. Make sure you remove the one after the name as it automatically adds that. And what's going to happen is it's going to add the model uh, template into your client uh, project and it will open it up. And as soon as it opens up, uh, you will, um, you may see it uh, loading a toolbox as it does in this particular instance of Visual Studio uh, 2010. It's one of the nice things about uh, Visual Studio 2012 is that the um, UI loads so much quicker uh, than in uh, 2010. And now you can see that uh, it's off uh, enumerating your light switch application, building out the inventory of light switch artifacts, such as uh, navigation groups, light switch screens, and light switch commands. Once that's complete, it will lay down that uh, as a proposed layout, um, defaulting the um, various controls to um, some default controls. And we'll just finish this demonstration up by uh, dragging over a shell root. And with that shell root in play, select the export. There is only one um, shell root uh, that we have, and that's in the provider project itself uh, called the default shell control. Uh, you can build your own shell uh, shell controls. We'll have subsequent videos on how to do that. All right, so once we've uh, established that, now we just need to link our various uh, view containers, sorry, our navigation containers to our um, uh, regions within our shell. And so this is our application ribbon area, which is a, in this case happens to be a rad ribbon control, but it could be anything. And now we've got our uh, view containers, which are happen to be doc containers. Uh, doc controls rather, but could be uh, any type of container as long as it uh, applies that interface. If we right click, we should have a valid model, which we do. Um, now, if we run this, of course, we don't have a license key, um, and so it won't actually um, show anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an, uh, an evaluation license key into this uh, area here and then pause the video. I'll be right back. Great. I've installed the license, uh, eval license key. Um, in order for you to uh, um, muck about with Docshell, you do have to um, go to the website and request an eval license key. It's a very simple, uh, um, just go to the contact us page and um, uh, request it from there and we will be more than happy to provide you uh, an eval key. An eval key uh, restricts you to two, um, uh, to two a tabs or navigation groups and uh, it restricts you to um, Let's see, customer was putting some icons in while I'm finishing this up. There we go. Um, it, 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 to, it restricts you to two uh, navigation groups and four light switch screens. So, uh, by the way, these properties that I'm changing here, all of this is explained in the intro video, and I think we're ready to go. So we just hit save. And what you should see when you hit save is you should see a, uh, a T4 template um, being added to your project. And basically what that template does is it uh, auto runs and generates out, in this case, a visual basic uh, equivalent of your project, or your navigation group. So if we just open this uh, generated file up, you can see here's the uh, VB equivalent of this model. So that's how DocShell actually learns of your layouts and all of the changes that you make within your DocShell application. Uh, is through this uh, code generated file. And if you can see here um, carefully that these are partial classes and the purpose behind these par partial classes will become more evident um, as we add additional features and functionality to the uh, doc shell framework, which will allow you to interact with the backend controls um, simply by creating a, uh, a named instance of that same partial class. Let's run this and see what we get. Okay, here's the uh, application. Um, you'll notice here <coughs> that uh, this is um, uh, part of the ribbon control itself. So that ribbon, uh, sorry, the uh, shell, the, the default shell has this uh, background uh, defined within it. It's quite static, it doesn't do much, but you can uh, change this up and to do anything you like. Pressing this button, you can see that we're uh, using the, uh, the uh, Telerac uh, busy control to load the screen. 
and there's the screen and there you go there's so those are the steps that are required in order for you to uh, take advantage of uh, doc shell uh, in visual studio 2010 and uh, we thank you very much for your time hope you've enjoyed this short video thank you